Six men who rode the Arizona Territory. Ride on, ride on, ride on. Twenty-six men, carefully chosen for their courage and ability, formed the Arizona Rangers. Fame and public acclaim was not their objective. This is perhaps why the story of these twenty-six men has never been told until now. This was Arizona territory at the turn of the century. A sparsely settled raw frontier, terrorized by bands of desperados who operated in open defiance of local peace officers. Foster, he'll have your orders. Yes, Captain. What about the trouble in Wilcox, Captain Ryan? Oh, just a moment, please. Ferguson, feud between the cattlemen and sheepmen has broken out again in Holbrook. Put a stop to it. Yes, Captain. We need help too, Captain. Are you going to send rangers to Wilcox or aren't you? I don't have anyone available at the moment, Mr. Miller. But you just sent men to other districts. Those are critical points. The situation in my town is just as critical. It's overrun by a power-crazed tyrant and his gunslingers. They've got a stranglehold on Wilcox and everything around it. But can't you businessmen get together and appoint a marshal? We did, a couple of years ago. He lasted two weeks. I tried to arouse the people through my newspaper. It was blown up. Mr. Miller, the legislature gave me 26 men to patrol the entire territory, 112 settlements, miles of unprotected border. Right now, I have only 25, and good recruits are hard to find. Captain Driding, I'm a newspaper man. I know your reputation. You took on a job that nearly everyone thought was impossible. The bringing of law and order to this territory. You're succeeding. But I honestly believe that my town is just as important to this territory as any of the others. I agree with you, Mr. Miller. And I'll take care of the problem when I can. That may be too late, Captain. Got to be done, Corporal, even if I have to go myself. You mean about Wilcox, Captain? A sign outside says you need Rangers. I want to join up. Why? I had a little spread over near Granger and I went broke. I need a job. You could find an easier one. Being a Ranger isn't all it's cracked up to be. Sometimes you're in the saddle 48 hours. No sleep, bad food. Picked on by unhappy citizens and shot at by outlaws. You furnish your own horse, arms, and equipment. The enlistment is for four years, and the pay is $50 a month. <laughs> In spite of that recommendation, I'll take it. My name's Clint Travis. There are four major requirements. Honesty, horsemanship, a fast gun, and the nerve to enforce the law without fear or prejudice. Come on outside. what you can do.
You're not joining a circus. What would you do if an outlaw's bullet smashed into you while you were showing off? Like this. I'll be gone three or four days. If Rangers, Holmes, and Webbs come in, transfer them to NACO. Yes, Captain. Still want to be a Ranger? Yes, sir. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. This is the story of 26 men who rode the Arizona Territory. Why is the story of 26 men whose courage helped to build the territory? 26 men who saddled up and then rode up to answer duty's call. Hold it. Look at those tracks. And the liberty of all. This is the story of 26 men enforcing law within the territory. Praise be the glory of 26 men who love the Arizona Territory. Blood. You see anything strange about these tracks? Nothing much. Several horses made about two hours ago. Yeah, you're right. But the riders dismounted. One of them was dragged away. Look over there. It's Sam Miller. Any wounds on him? No. One shell's been fired. Could have shot one of the men who jumped him. Yes. And a man with a gunshot wound shouldn't be hard to trace. Get the horses. on the porch. not open for business. The bartender isn't here. You're Lola Johnson? That's right. If you own this place, you must know near everyone in town. Suppose so, but why the questions? I want you to identify someone. Certainly, if I can. It's a body. Found him hanging from a tree just outside of town. Sam should have known they'd get him. After what happened to his newspaper. Who'd get him? 
I'm Captain Tom Rining of the Arizona Rangers. Hey, the Arizona, Arizona Rangers. Rangers? If any of you people have information that will help this case, don't be afraid to talk. The law will protect you. Did Miller have any relatives? A wife and two children. Miss Johnson, will you notify the widow? in your time pulling off those boards. I don't think so. You heard Big Red. We don't want anybody butting into our business. Maybe you'd like to be the first to try and stop us. <laughs> That's a good idea. The more I think of it, the better I like it. <laughs> Look at him shake, Red. He's got a fast gun and a big mouth. But no guts to back him up. I'm notifying you that the law is at Wilcox to stay. Don't forget it. That office will be boarded up before the weekend is out. All right, Curly. You'll never pull your gun again unless you use it. But the... I never drew on a man before. I couldn't pull the trigger. Yeah, I know. It happens that way sometimes. You'll get over it. But the thought of killing a man. You don't always have to. If a man's mounted, smash an elbow. If he's on foot, a bullet in the shoulder will knock him down and you can disarm him. But don't ever fight with your fists. You could cripple your gun hand. Then every two-bit gunslinger would choose you and you wouldn't have a chance. I guess after what happened outside, I don't stand much chance of getting into the Rangers. Man's entitled to make a mistake, provided it doesn't affect anyone but himself. You'd do me an honor if you'd reconsider. We'll talk about it later. Let's get this place cleaned up. Travis, put the horses away and make arrangements for rooms at the hotel. Yes, Captain. who killed Miller? You had a pretty good motive, Monaghan. He was trying to bring law to Wilcox. You didn't want it. I still don't. Look, Captain, when I first rode into this town, it was nothing but a spot in the road. When my cattle outfit grew, so did Wilcox. There wouldn't be anything here if it wasn't for me. And you broke every small rancher in the valley you got in your way. Business is business. Not if it includes murder. Today or tomorrow, but they'll get you if you stay. Who do you mean, they? 
Miss Johnson, doesn't law and order mean anything to you? I'm getting along all right without it. What about the rest of the people? Do they have any churches? Any schools for the children? No. I guess you don't care. As long as your cash register keeps ringing. Something I can do for you? Did you treat anyone today for a gunshot wound? Uh, who are you? Captain Rining. Arizona Rangers. Oh, uh, I haven't had a patient in over a week. In fact, business is getting so bad, I'm thinking of leaving. Oh. Nice, quiet town, eh? Yep, that's it. Nice and quiet. Doc, you're lying. I beg your pardon? These instruments were used today. Who was it? I'm not as neat as I used to be. Our room's Captain Rining. No, why not? Uh, the proprietor says they're all taken. That's true. Big Red reserved them all for his men. Well, then unreserve a couple on the front. I can't do that. I have to live here. We'll be back in a little while for the keys. Come on, let's get some food. We're sure popular around here. <laughs> and things will be worse before the better. Well, we'll have a home-cooked meal out of some cans and wait for them to make the next move. Mighty quiet down there this morning, Captain. Big Red meant what he said. Showdown. You wait here. You might get yourself killed. The captain. You have your orders. He's headed this way. What about the other one? Still at the hotel. On the porch. Curly, maybe you'd enjoy handling this. You're a fool, Red. You're not up against two men. Now you're fighting 26 rangers. I run this town, Lola. Nobody's going to change it. I suppose that's why Sam Miller was hanged. Who's the troublemaker? Look, Red. I've tolerated you and your gang because I figured money was money and I wasn't particular where it came from, but no more. I still have some self-respect left. I'm not going to sit by while you commit another murder. You have no choice. Get over to the bar. Stay where you are and don't turn around. Starting right now, the Emporium will be closed on something. Wait a minute. I ought to close you down permanently. Mr. Monahan, you stay where you are. You other men leave, two at a time. Toss your guns on the corner table as you go out. From now on, the carrying of firearms in city limits is prohibited. And I'm warning you to behave peaceably. My partner's outside. <laughs> That's a big help. He's probably hiding under the porch. Mr. 
Monahan, over to the table and drop your gun. I said drop your gun. What's the matter with your arm? Had an accident. My horse fell with me. Outside. We'll stop at the doctor's office first, Monahan. You better come along too, Miss Johnson. I want to ask you some questions. Mr. Monaghan's going out of circulation. Now, let's start all over. Is this the man you treated? Yeah, he was shot. He came to my office just a few hours before you got into town. So you had an accident. Now, this empty shell came from Sam Miller's gun. Before he was hanged, he wounded one of the men who grabbed him. That man was you, Mr. Monaghan. You're under arrest. They never hold me, Captain. My men will tear this place apart. Miss Johnson, do you know your legal status as an accessory to the commission of a crime? Just in case the meaning isn't too familiar, let me explain. Anyone who aids and abets a felony with intent to defeat justice is as guilty as a person who actually committed the crime. I didn't know anything about it. You knew he was using your place to set me up as a clay pigeon. There was nothing I could do. I'm not so sure. You know Mr. Monaghan pretty well. But what if I did? That doesn't prove anything. Men have a habit of confiding in their close friends. Maybe I used to be, but no more. Miller was fighting you through his newspaper. You admitted to me you killed him. You miserable... Captain Riding! We want to talk to you. Doc, keep him covered. Turn Big Red loose, or you're gonna be minus a ranger. Drop him, Curly. I don't want to have to shoot you in the back. <laughs> you ain't shooting anybody. These guns have hair triggers. The slightest jaw set them off. I'm going to swap you this yellow belly for Big Red. Step off the porch. <laughs> now for the other one. told me to. I shot him in the shoulder, then disarmed him. You're learning. Right on your feet. And uh, write a letter to the governor. Tell him the trouble at Wilcox has been straightened out. Big Red Monaghan and four of his men have been indicted for the murder of Sam Miller. They're being transferred to the capital for trial. It never ends, Corporal. Patches on the war path, riots at the Great Western Copper Mines, raids on the cattlemen near Bisbee. Travis, how soon can you be ready to travel again? In about 30 minutes. Good. Get your horse ready. The corporal will have your orders ready by that time. Yes, sir. Yes? Captain. Travis. Thank you, Captain.
this is the story of 26 men who rode the Arizona Territory. I, it's the story of 26 men whose courage helped to build the territory. 26 men who saddled up and then rode up to answer duty's call. 26 men who live to ride again and fight for the rights and the liberty of all. This is the story of 26 men enforcing law within the territory. Praise be the glory of 26 men who rode the Arizona Territory. Proud 